It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the AFC South. It's the Titans and the Jaguars, next on Madden Football. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He finds his man complete. That's more. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Let's go. Let's do it. A big play that time on the catch and run. And as you saw right there, this is a guy with pretty good speed for a tight end. Nice job there catching the short throw and turning it upfield. He can also be a weapon downfield as well. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll set up a throw. He'll buy some time right. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Man, I've seen that play a Robert of Woods, times 30 yards. And the Titans are on the board here first in the season opener. We thought they may be a quick strike <laughs> offense this season. That is lightning quick. Not bad for the first drive of the year. That has to actually exceed expectations, doesn't it? Because most teams want to be a quick strike offense. They want to score as quickly as possible and run a defense into submission. What they have to understand is, while they got it done there, long way to go. Don't get discouraged if you have to, have to run a few more plays on your next drive. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. On the slant, he'll get it to Jones. The 40, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Jaguars. Marvin Jones, 75 yards. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. All day, baby, all day. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They'll roll him out right. 
Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Robert Woods with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Titans have taken the lead. Showed some of his improv skills there, getting flushed out of the pocket, but still able to make the throw for the score. So that means he's not a method actor? No. Because with the improv means break character when you need to. And in the NFL, when you have those guys chasing you, sometimes you have to break character in a big way. But I love the fact that he stayed downfield, kept his eyes up, and made the play. How many rookies do that well? Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, we'll see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is, because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. And yeah, the Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Well behind the sticks here with a second and 18. 51 to Lawrence. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. From the shotgun, Lawrence looking downfield for Jones. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand and forcing a three and out and giving the ball back to their offense? It's taken to the 26. So a good punt there, but a nice Let's return go, of 11 Let's yards. Go. And it'll be Titan football. Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. He's showing off that arm, showing it off very well. They've got the lead. Don't forget, though, about the protection he's had. The protection's been good. And I'll guarantee you he hasn't forgotten about it at all because that's keeping him clean in the pocket, allowing him to step into throws and make those deep passes come true. I mean, it's just been beautiful for him to do. But guess what? In the huddle, on the sidelines, guaranteed he's thanking those big guys up front for keeping him on, safe. Let's go. I have a feeling he made him buy dinner. <laughs> Indeed, entertaining to relive some of those deep balls. Derrick Henry. First down and much more for Henry. And he's going to be out of bounds, on, but not before Let's he go. takes it inside the 40. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now a handoff to Henry. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Second quarter now. Titans in possession of the football. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. Go, go, go. 
trucks over him. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Flush to his right. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Derrick Henry there to make the grab. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Point after here, coming up. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to the drive summary that time, five plays. And it ends with a Tennessee score. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Jaguars offense now heads back onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Now here's Robinson again on second down, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Ready, ready. 70, Indy. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Based on travel. Off the play fake, here's Lawrence. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout. And with that, they're now out of timeouts. and still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter. Second and 10 now, it's Lawrence. Pass incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Oh, he's going to go for it all. And unable to connect, incomplete. I'll give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Here's Logan Cook now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this will do the job nicely as that will be out of bounds just inside the 10-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. 
Back to throw now on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Well, another completion there. And what a big moment in a young quarterback's life, that first NFL start. And Charles, obviously, they want him to win games. But if they're looking at him under a microscope in this first month or so, what do you think they're hoping to see from him? Well, for every question they'll have for him, they should have for themselves as a coaching staff because it's not just how quickly can he learn the offense, it's what they can teach him, right? How can he build a relationship with his receivers? And of course, how open is he to learning? And of course, how open are they to giving him things that he can put in place on the field? They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Let's go, let's go, let's 57 go. yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Titans are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And oh, deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. But this will get, get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Well, this hasn't been their cleanest first half of football. Last thing they wanted to do was give it up to the opposition, but able to keep it as it goes out of bounds. Yeah, tough first half, no doubt about it. But if they turn it over there, now things turn a little, how would you say it, dire? Mm. And they didn't need that hassle at all. So being able to take care of the football is paramount. Fortunate bounce for them there in order to retain it. Lawrence's throw into the hands of Kirk. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now Lawrence on first down. And a dump off here to Robinson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This from 54 yards away. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. There we go. 
So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll begin with a matchup of the two teams that Peyton Manning took to a Super Bowl championship. Denver heading east to take on Indianapolis. And it's the Colts who have the lead in that one. Jonathan Taylor with a touchdown run. From there, we'll head down to the Big Easy. Check on the Saints at home at the Superdome. And you can see they trail in that matchup against the Tampa Bay Bucks. Leonard Fournette with two touchdown runs. Finally, let's get you to Baltimore. Check on the Ravens at home at M&T Bank Stadium. And they have the lead over the visiting New York Jets. Devin Duvernay. A touchdown reception. Continuing on, here's a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Titans. And it was important for them to get the season off on the right foot. And they've done just that, thanks to a very solid outing by their passing offense thus far. Meanwhile, for the Jaguars, we check on their numbers on the ground in the first half, as they know they'll need to be better to overcome this halftime deficit. It's a new season, so both of these coaching staffs likely making plenty of adjustments after their first half of football. So for the call of the second half here in week one, we go back to Brandon and Charles. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And he can't field it cleanly, it's loose. And they're gonna start this drive in pretty good on, shape go. up past the 30. We gonna work. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. And the Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Looking to throw again on second down. Lawrence throwing the out route and complete. That's Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first down, Lawrence. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Kevin Byer, the boys. Middle Let's Tennessee go. Blue Raider, gets the sack. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. Another try after the first down sack. Lawrence got his man. That's the pro bowler, Julio Jones. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Right here, right here, guys. Mike 51. Mike 51. Now Lawrence to throw. Looking deep for Julio. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So one first down on that drive, and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to punt this one away. The Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Titans will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. 
Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Now they had to go the length of the field last time out to get into the end zone. And with this starting field position, they're going to have to pretty much do it again. And I think the thought process going into it is, hey, if you have to be methodical, go ahead and do that. But what you really want are a couple of big plays. Eat up chunks of yardage and cut down the number of times you have to snap the football. And he'll go out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. They'll try the right side with Henry. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. They'll run it again with Henry. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 74 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. And opening there on that first down run as he gets yeah, his forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They set up the screen for Henry. First down and much more for Henry. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Looking to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hill. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Josh Allen drops him for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. Well, Charles, I guess the only thing I can think there is they've got a three-score lead, and they're, they're saying, well, we're not going to lose this, so let's have some fun. I don't know why you go for it. I think that's as good an explanation as any, and we all know that certain coaches are more aggressive than others. That call to me, the fantasy people loved it, right? Anybody <laughs> yeah. who's going to touch the ball, gain yards, maybe put more points on the board, they're happy that they kept it and did that. So very interesting deal there, but I'm with you on that one. Maybe he just says, what the heck, we can't lose. Let's go ahead and keep trying to win or add to our lead. The Jaguars on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. they will get this out to the flat for ETN. And they'll get him oh, down yeah. about three yards short of the first. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. They'll run it now with Robinson. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Well, depending on the temperament of the head coach, he's either turning to the bench and screaming, where was that all game? 
or maybe just kind of keeping it to himself and saying, okay, it's something to build on and a positive comes out of a bad game because those are going to happen from time to time. We'll see how he gets his team ready to go in the future. But that run right there, that's what they were looking for. A nifty move on the run, but ultimately stops short of the goal line down at the two. From the two now, second and goal. Robinson. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. James Robinson taking it in from two yards out. And the Jaguars have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Titans are going to recover the football. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Sliding out of the pocket. And his throw is incomplete. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. They're gonna look to throw. Flushed out right. Finding room to the 20. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Some early fireworks from this rookie quarterback getting the start in week one. And every time a rookie quarterback gets to start week one, you and I both know the extra attention that comes with it. We know that he's going to throw the... And a big loss here as he's taken down. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. That one looks like he'll throw here. Rolling to his right. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Got a man, and it's taken Let's in go, for go, a go, Titans go, go, touchdown. That's all I need, That's all I need. Robert Woods with now three week one touchdowns. And the Titans are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not. In this particular situation, how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? A little work still to do, though. Extra points safely through, and the lead is up to 18 now. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Finding some room at midfield. 
And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Throwing now Lawrence on first down. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. Three yards the game there, second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Throwing again on second down. Lawrence throwing the out route and complete. It's Jones. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Throwing again on second and 10, Lawrence. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. A final shot now for Lawrence. Looking in zone for Jones. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books, going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us, all these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for Tennessee, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, for the Jaguars, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel to Denver to take on the Broncos.